Hello again, John Hernandez by the paddock. We have wrapped up seven weeks of the 2019 quarter horse season here in central Iowa. And so here's the reminder, just two weeks of live racing left, six days. We go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then closing week will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. On the Sunday eight race card at Prairie Meadows, Jorge Torres and Berkeley Packer, also, Jonathan Dominguez had riding doubles and a training double on the card for leading trainer Jason Olmsted. So as far as the standings are concerned at this point with six days left, Stormy Smith has 24 wins, Justin Shepard 21 wins, Jorge Torres 16, then Jonathan Dominguez at 13, Brett Berzer at 12. Trainer standings, Jason Olmsted now up by nine over Alex Wessels at 25-16. Charlton Hunt is next at 10, and then Stacy Hill at nine wins. Owner standings, Lisa Baumeister had two on one of our trials days, and so she is at six. B.B. Wessels of Kirk Wessels at five wins, and then we've got three at four, Tyler Stein, the Victory Farms, and Tom Maher. So the owner's race definitely still wide open at this point with six days of live racing left in 2019. So this weekend was trials weekend here at Prairie Meadows as we ran trials for four of our big closing day stakes races. We'll take a look at the top qualifiers in all four of those, starting with the third race winner on the Saturday card at Prairie Meadows, one of two trials for the Polk County Derby, Stormy Smith aboard Streak and Jesse. Take a look at that win. Off and running. Little quick wagon from the inside. Fire up a doobie in the middle. They flank out for the third spot. CR Lil Bro is next in line. Streak and Jesse is now really flying up in between horses. Rowdy anywhere. She's a favorite gal is the trailer. Here's a late rally from Streak and Jess Z, who is going to go on to a nice win here and beats out CR Lil Bro. Then later on in the card, we ran five trials for the Valley Junction Futurity. Fastest qualifier was race five winner Southern Sunshine under Jorge Torres. Off and running. Southern Sunshine really bolted out of there from one of the outside gates. Valiant Red Runners in contention. But now here comes Five Bar Bodhi, who is now getting going on the inside. Now we're down to two. Southern Sunshine has the lead here and the win. Draws clear from Five Bar Bodhi. One day earlier, we had three trials for the Jim Bader Futurity. That was on Friday night. Fastest qualifier, Kiss Me Anywhere, came out of race number four. Off and running and Kiss Me Anywhere broke sideways, but vies for the lead. Here comes Teller Hooray, who goes for it as well. Just Lippy is next to the outside. Regal Dynasty has some ground to make up, along with Queen's Dashing Eagle. But it is all Kiss Me Anywhere, Kiss Me Anywhere. Strong, strong win. And later on in that 10-race Friday card, three trials for the Altoona Derby. The top qualifier, a political mogul, winner of race number nine. Off and running. VF Count Dracula in the middle. A political mogul is getting going wide, wide open at this point. He's a blues man is in contention. Shockingly Famous is coming up the inside. He's a blues man, shockingly famous. And now a late charge, a political mogul clears off to win. So those were the fastest qualifiers for four of our big stakes races. We've got eight stakes races on the card on closing day, Saturday, October 12th. Again, just six days of live racing left 2019. So hope to see you here this week and in the week to come, which will be the final week of racing on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as we wrap it up in 2019 here at Prairie Meadows. We'll see you on Friday night. First post is 6 o'clock.